Hi everyone, welcome to Craft Addict K. I'm Carla. And I'm Sam. And we are so glad you're here in spending time with us and welcome to our home, our stitchy room, our clutter. If you saw what was on the table all around us, you would be <laughs> either running for the hills or diving right in. Mm -hmm. um, we want to say Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, it's not Thanksgiving, is it? What is it? Valentine's it Day. It is Valentine's Day. It has been that kind of a week, you all. It has been a rough work week. It's been a rough stitchy week. Um, it's been two weeks since our last update. Right, Samantha? I think. Um, the highlight has been the Valentine's things that we've been getting in the mail from Daily 30. They did a Valentine card exchange, and that's been a lot of fun. I hope everyone that received a Valentine card from us really enjoyed it. Um, there was floss in some. There was some um, what I, Sammy Sammy J refers to as stitcher confetti because a couple of stitchers that I knew used bobbins. I put some loose bobbins in there so when it opened up, they would give them something they could use and add to their stash. Um, so this, if you haven't figured out, is a channel about cross stitch. And Samantha is my daughter. I'm the mom. She's the daughter. And after Valentine's Day yesterday, I am the super mom, best mom ever in the whole wide world. And I take that on, pat on my back. Because this is how bad it was. Thursday, I forgot to pick her up from the activity bus. Yeah, I'm just putting it out there for the whole world to know. Forgot to pick her up. It was 20 after 5 when I realized she was on the bus coming home and I needed to pick her up. It's about two miles away from where we live. And I was flying. And you know when you're in a hurry, there's always that person that's in front of you that's actually going the speed limit. Um, yeah, she didn't have to wait long, but she did have to wait. So unfortunately, I lost the Mom of the Year Award Thursday, but I gained it back on Friday on Valentine's Day. We didn't go anywhere. We kind of, we watched a video that yes, Samantha, video. Samantha can tell you about. Okay. We watched yesterday the movie, which is about um, all the lights turn out in the, on the in the world mm -hmm. of the world, and um, everybody forgets who the Beatles are, and then the, there's only like one person who remembers the Beatles, and he's a aspiring musician, and he sings all the Beatles songs to bring life to the Beatles again. And you got that from your dad, right? For yeah, Valentine's that, was, that was my Valentine's Day gift. Because you like, she. she's an old soul, I always said. Samantha's our old soul. Okay, um, we're kind of off of our normal routine today because, honestly, <sighs> we didn't sketch anything out. We didn't sketch anything out. I have my book. Nothing written in it. Nothing written in it except don't forget to show a special fabric that I forgot to show last time. I have some kindness, some Christmas gifts that were stitchy related that I wanted to share. Um, it's amazing when you start to organize your crafting area, the things that you go, oh, I forgot I wanted to show that. So we'll be talking about that today. We have some whips. I do have a finish. Samantha did some stitching this time. Not, Not a lot. lot. <laughs> but she did get a little bit of stitching in. So Just a little. Um, if you haven't figured it out yet, this is a, a channel about cross stitch. You um, said that already. Did I? Yeah. With a little bit of life mixed in. I'm I'm probably you probably should run this video. Why? Keep us in check. Cause I, it's been that hard of a week. Um, it's been stressful week. It's been stressful for, for sure. I don't know about you. Mine's work related stress, but you know that too shall pass. Um, it'll it'll resolve. It usually does. So, um, why don't you we talk? What do you want? I, I mean, I just feel like I'm imploded upon. Do you want to talk about whips? I mean, I only got one. <laughs> All right, well, then I'll show my whips. Okay. Okay, so um, I got up past the stash um, was given to me. It is Co Country Cottage Needleworks. Merry Christmas. This is my work copy. Um, I started this in, well, actually, let me just tell you because I'll look here in my little notebook. Um, if you haven't seen these, you can get them on Amazon, like 50 of them. They're relatively, they're less than a dollar a piece, and I have one in each one of my projects. Um, and it's really big help, because then I can look back and see how many stitches I did on the said project. Um, and 
this month in February, since I started this, boy, you're the math whiz, I'm over a thousand stitches. We'll just say that, okay? Um, I've been using it for different challenges, um, stitching in red, creating, warming up from snowball fights um, with semi-stained stitchers. Um, basically, if I could fit it into a challenge, I did because um, this is a pass, the stash that was passed to me, and I want to pass it along to another friend who is waiting in, in to get this as well. Um, so it is, hopefully you can see it, Merry Christmas. I'm trying to make sure we're in frame. Yep. Um, I don't have, there's a house that goes over here, um, over here, my right and my left. There's a house that goes over here and over here on the other corner. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting closer. I expect that this will be a finish um, probably before our next video, actually, because it's pretty easy stitch. So, and this is on a, hmm, let me check my notebook, 32 count fabric flare gray. And it actually was a, a scrap piece that I had left um, in my stash. And I thought, well, from, I think from one of Samantha's projects because she wanted gray for something. And that's my bird. My oh, that's Quaker right. Crow. Your Quaker crow. So I had a big enough piece and I thought I'm going to put it on that. So very happy with how it's turning out. And I got my little snowman needle minder. Um, boy, I thought about how to get it here but not where to put it when I was done with it. How about I put it back there? Okay. Um, next up that's been getting a lot of love, I'm close, I'm getting close to a 4,000 stitch, getting very close to my first tear finish for full coverage, and that is thanks to all the snowballs and all the pooper potion from Semi-Sane. Um, I'm still active in pooper potion. It's actually been a very good thing for me to get my stitches in order um, and get them going. And this is a Heaven and Earth Designs, A Walk Through the Highlands. The artwork is by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. And I'm not sure I'm not showing pattern. Um, so it she reminds me of the Outlander. I just really like her. Well, so that is the pattern. But as you can tell, there's a lot of fill, a lot of straight color. Um, and this is my printed copy. I have, I do use Pattern Keeper. If you don't use Pattern Keeper, why aren't you using Pattern Keeper? It is so worth it. If you're a full coverage person, get Pattern Keeper. Um, so anyways, if I don't, Pooper Potion requires you to stitch as many stitches as you can. Okay, so at night, I come home from work, do all my adulting stuff, and then I sit and stitch in my stitchy spot, stitch as many stitches as I can. Um, Unfortunately, the next morning, there is a Cupid does a spin. And when Cupid spins, if you have not stitched enough, then you need to stitch penalty stitches in the next 24 hours. Your penalty stitches are 500 stitches. Because of my work, it would be really hard for a lot of my projects to get 500 stitches, but I have found that this walk through the Highlands, because it's a new start this year, and because it's it's solid colors, I can I can relatively get my 500 stitches. Um, in the meantime, because I'm working on that for pooper potion, and I need to do 500 penalty stitches when I don't meet the right number or I haven't exceeded the number spun, which I think has happened four times this month. I've had to do the penalty stitches, and guess what? Today's another day. Jeez. That because I didn't stitch on Valentine's Day because I was watching yesterday. And, and don't just blame it on me. Oh, and I was kidding up a project for my monkey on the toilet. So if you watch Stitching Buttons, we're stitching the same thing. I haven't started mine, but it's all kitted. It's ready to go. Um, and I think mine will be a February 29th start. So anyways. Just, just blaming me for your penalty stitches. Penalty stitches. So today Cupid rolled 500. I'm going to have to do 500 penalty stitches because yesterday was the first day this month I did not stitch. So... Here is where I have gotten. Oh, Don't me hold it. Sorry, we are using straight camera this time. Hold um, so this is where I've gotten a lot of clouds. Um, so we're not done yet, but we are close. I am so close to getting that 4,000 first tier done that I probably will get it this weekend if I work on this. Okay, I'm going to pass that over to you. Um, 
another item I worked on, and I'm kind of not really going in any order, so this is Coffee Quaker. Oh, I should have taken this off the Q-snap because I did actually get more stitches that are hidden. Do you and want to back for that or no? Um, what's that? No. Ah, uh, maybe. I'll just grab this. Okay, so this is Coffee Quaker, and I did do some more on it, and this is on a peach. Um, do you want me to hold it? Sure. Thank you. This is on a 28 count even weave peach. It's a Regency fabric from Colored Linen Duck is what it said on the package. I probably picked it up on eBay when I first started stitching, but I thought it worked because here's the colors that are in this pattern. So you can see those colors work. Um, so, yep, that is my Coffee Quaker. And I used that in some challenge. I don't even remember what it was. I think I had to stitch a flower. Oh yeah, I had to stitch a flower and I had to stitch a repetitive pattern. Um, so my repetitive pattern was over here. It had to be repeated four times and it was these four things. So, okay, I'll just, there you go. I'll hand it off to you to make it go a little bit quicker. Um, what is this one? Oh, this is my Lyra piece. I have worked on this since last video, but I could not tell you. I haven't worked on it in the last week for sure. Um, we are starting to get into the coral and things. If you watch um, Hey Craft Addict Isabel, she is doing the same pattern. Um, she's a lot further than I am, uh, but I am slowly and surely working my way through it. There's a lot of really pretty colors in that. Um, I think, let's see. I was using that for our snowball piece at one point in time. Um, I probably only did about 200 stitches on that since the last time, so not a lot. And that's in my Garon bag for my Christmas gift because that was a gift from Isabel. I try to keep things as organized as you can. Right. Like when I when I um, now after we, we we do our video, I put all of these projects away. I put them back in my, like, where all my rest of my whips are. Um, and then as I work on things, I put them over in my video corner, which is basically right behind me, um, so that whenever I go to do the next video, I know that the projects that are over here are the ones that I've actually done some stitches on. Mm -hmm. Just don't know what stitches. It is a challenge to do videos. If you don't do Floss 2 videos, um, I think... You, I encourage you to because there's a lot of floss tubers out there and a lot of information we can share with one another. It's a wonderful community. Um, and why not? Share share with other people what you're working on, what you're doing. Be part of that community. It's a great That's community. Tiny. This is tiny, but it's a start. Um, this was the red dress style. This is the actual... It is a heaven and earth design, once upon a fairy tale, max color. Um, artwork is by Jenna Della Grotaglia Maldonado. Um, that sounded almost And right. I got 300 stitches on her. That's 300 stitches. That's 300 stitches. And I, it's on a 28 count easy grid fabric. So it's tiny. It is tiny. I mean, it's got beautiful colors. I mean, look at the colors. They're beautiful colors. Um, but I don't know. I may... I, I'm, I'm going to stitch a little bit more on the 28 count, but it's a little bit harder for me to see. And it takes me a lot longer to make, that I don't feel like I'm making progress. I may, that was keeping the, cue, the grind guard out of the way a little bit, because it was up in the corner. Um, I may restart this on 25 count. I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm still undecided for right now. But I may restart it on 25 count. That was for the red dress style that Gina um, was doing in virtual stitchers for the month of February. So I don't know. I'm I'm still thinking about it. I'll give that to you. Suggestions are always wanted. Yeah, I'm I'm actually debating between doing it on it a 25 count easy grid or going with an 18 count because if you saw our last video, you know I got a big huge piece of 18 count. I just have to go through and really calculate what that size that would make it with the stitch count. So I might. I don't know. Um, I also got another past the stash and decided to start it this month. Um, 
and I want to show the pattern, but um, I started this on February 8th. I only worked on it on February 8th. <laughs> I did 734 stitches. It is Witch Witch by La Dee Da. And I got this, um, my friend, I won't say her name because she didn't want me to, um, but she did say that I could pass it along when I'm finished. And so there is somebody that's already asked me, so I'll be passing this along to them. But it is a nice stitch. I did it for a challenge. Um, I have it on a Winter Finch Crosswing Collection uh, fabric. And they have a web website. It's crosswing.com. Um, if you want to check them out. I actually purchased this at Just Stitching in Strongsville, Ohio. On one of my trips there, I saw it and I thought, oh, I'll get that. I'm not sure what I'll stitch on it, but I liked it because it was a little bit different and it's hand dyed fabric. So, or hand painted specialty fabric is what it's called. Um, Winter Finch. And without further ado, and I did not take this out of the Q snap, I needed this for a challenge yeah. for a. There, you got it? Yeah, I can hold it close. Oh, yeah, you can. Um, for a cat. Hey, Sheely, I need one of your magnet things that I can, like, point, get a pointer, right? But there's a cat uh, on the side of her dress, and so um, that's what I stitched on her. And, and Gina threw in some stickers, too. So these are Jalen Paper Company. I'm sorry you're getting a little bit of a glare, but um, they're little stickers for my sweater. For It's got weather, it's got coffee, and all kinds of stuff in there. It's... They're just nice little stickers that you can use and, and because I'm starting getting into the journaling thing, I, I am going to be using those in my journal. So now that I've shown them, I can use them. All right. So I'm going to pass this and this is in my bee bag. I think, I think my friend Cindy made this for me. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Um, so I'm going to give you that and my work pattern, my work coffee, and I'll give you that. Okay. Um, why did I use such tight bags? I know, I know. Okay, so, are you bored yet? I hope not. I hope you, I mean, I work on a lot of different projects in two weeks sometimes is, I, I think, well, should I just do a video without Samantha and, and do like a vlog style video where I can sh like give you updates each day and just post it as a vlog kind of thing, but... Or, yeah, we've been kind of kicking around the idea of a stitching with me. If that's something you're interested in, you know, let me know. I don't know. I've been thinking about it. Um, now that the husband got me the video camera, it make it a lot easier to do that. Um, I just don't... Let's see how this video uploads. How about that? Because yeah, we, <laughs> we haven't done it yet. We don't know how to figure it out. And my favorite, my favorite whip right now is Phantom of the Opera. That's you know I've been working on it for a while. It's got beautiful fall colors. I just love these colors. Um, so this is where I'm at. Oh, you want to hold that out there? Sorry. Here you go. You can hold it better. So that is kind of, there you go. That's where I'm at. You can see the shelves and no Lisa. Um, I am not to the blue book yet, but I'm working my way there. I go where Pattern Keeper tells me. Um, some people are working across. I seem to be working kind of down and at an angle. So what I do when I'm doing my full coverage is I work on one color as best as I can and fill in with that color with what makes sense. And then I go back and see where my holes are and I look at the next color that is the furthest in. I don't know how she's got that. So I'll go... Boy, this is, you're just I'm, I'm so backward. Um, so I'll go back in and I'll pick a different color and work my way out. I try to do um, like the, we call them ninja stitches. So if you're a full coverage person, you know ninja stitches. It's that one stitch, two stitch. You might have a couple of stitches kind of scattered about. And I do those stitches first. And then I go in with the bulk color. So um, it helps to kind of cover up the mess on the back. And you can see my back. I'm... I'm not ashamed. It's a mess, but that's my back. Um, but if you use the solid, solider colors, for lack of the things that are more predominant in the pattern, you cover up all those little pieces of kind Floss. of going around and flosses. So that's where I'm at on that. 
Um, that's it. That's the last whip. Now it's your turn. Okay. Well, this is gonna be quick and easy. I worked to my Capricorn. All you guys are gonna be like, oh, again? No, I'm for real serious. Wait a minute. Right there. Yep. There you go. Yep. I think I did. I don't know how much I did. I think I did like 300 stitches, maybe. Maybe a little bit more. Not more. Maybe aren't, a little less. Aren't you ready to get into like Alice and out of the purple yet? No. No, you like the purple. I'm ready to get to the. Oh, it's at the end of the corner. I'm ready to get to the to the goat. Oh, this isn't your Alice in Wonderland. This is your Capricorn. I'm sorry. Say? Yes. Ugh. I'm awful. I told you. It's been a rough week, you plus, guys. Plus it's the been Alice a rough one, week. The Alice one, I'm stuck in Kranich, so I'd take purple over Kranich any day. <laughs> okay. That was my one whip. All right. There it is. Okay. Um, do you want to talk call? All right. Go ahead. Talk call. All right, call. I got stitchy kindness. You got stitchy kindness? Well, oh, let me do my finish, and then, well, let me, let's do haul. And then I'll do my finish. Okay, so a haul. I forgot to show this last time. I felt completely awful. The Slovak Farm, um, Laura, is she does hand dyed fabric, and um, I am going to be starting One Nation next month. I know we're getting a, a glare. Um, One Nation, um, and it's by Bygone Stitches. I have all the floss. Um, I just wanted the fabric and a bunch of us in virtual stitchers are going to be starting this as a stitch along in, I think it's in March, pretty sure it's in March, it might be May, but I think it's March, um, I think there's one going on every month, but anyways, I asked her to dye me some vintage looking fabric, um, and, and that's what she did, and she sent me this, can you see, this is 28 count, and I think she calls it Dirt Road, and that's, I wanted something that looked like a parchment-y, kind of, like, like that it was antiqued, and that's, I don't know that that's true to color that you're seeing, it looks pretty washed out. It's really, um, like a, like a tannish, like a tan purple, it's like a, yeah, like a purpley hue, but tan, and then it's got, like, little smoky bits, smoky bits, yeah, so. I think it'll be perfect when I get the um, pattern on it. When I get One Nation, I think it's going to make those colors pop. And it's going to make it look more vintage. Um, so I'm very happy with that purchase. So check her out, the Slovak Farm. She also has a floss tube channel. Her and her husband both stitch together. Um, and so I have that. And I found it. I had I had lost it, and then I found it. Because a flag needs to be in your flag bag. And this is one of the Gayron um, toting bags, bags for um, project bags. And lo and behold, guess where I found it this morning? It was in my flag bag for the flag. Makes sense. Don't know why I couldn't find it. Little stars on the inside. So it is back in the flag bag, virtual stitcher gals. If I go, where's my One Nation at? Please remind me I put it in the flag bag. So it's ready. It's kitted. It's ready. Um, the other thing I got by watching... Um, oh, Jesse Marie does stuff. I am in full coverage and we are doing tour of the different national parks. And you do 4,000 stitches in each national park to reach each national park. So... She mentioned in one of her floss tubes that she got the National Park stickers so that she could put that in her stitchy book to commemorate when she reaches that park. And I thought, what a novel idea. I didn't even know they made such a thing. So I want to share it with the rest of you. There are, these are, go ahead, you can show them, emblem stickers, and they are the National Park travel stickers. They're a 61 park edition. Um, and they're by the Anderson Design Group. And I purchased this on Etsy. Um, if you do a search for the National Park emblem stickers, they come up. You'll see them. Um, but it's got all the different national parks. So as I reach them, I'm going to be putting them in my calendar, in my stitching journal for this year. So I think that's really neat. They are about $20 with shipping. 
um, at least in the United States where, where my shipping was. But they came relatively quickly and I really like them. So I'm looking forward to it. And he's got like other things too, like at his shop. So check him out. Um, I'm not very good about putting links, but if you can't find them, please email us. We will look and try and see if I can get you the, to the right spot. I do try um, to do that. I try to put links in. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Samantha's better at it than I am. Um, the you just other, yourself I know, right? The other haul I got, sorry for the crinkle, is I am part of Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, fabric of the month club and I did that too because I met her at StitchCon last year and I really loved her fabrics mm. and this is called Kelpie it's oh. a 20 oh no sorry 32 count Lugana and it's a blue green um, it's really getting washed out with the light I got a lot of I got the sunlight in front of us and You're going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way I'm trying to Trying to give you some a good look at it, but trust me, it's pretty. I I think I'm going to be putting on one of my Mirabilia girls on this. I've been um, I'm waiting for you to stitch on one. the one I'm I'm going to be starting soon. I, this is kind of set aside for that. I think this is going to be a good one to put that on. Um, but that's under the sea fabrics. Um, check her out. She does do sales. Her husband's military and. You know what, I'm all about supporting supporting our local, not our local, because she's not local to me, but, you know, anytime I know somebody's in the military, I, I it gives me a soft spot because I was in the military and I know how hard that lifestyle is. Um, so, I am, you know, check her out. Qual great quality, good good um, fabric. Beautiful fabric. Beautiful fabric. Okay. Then... I jumped down a rabbit hole. Bear with me. I'm hoping to be. I can show these relatively easy. Um, so what happens when you get on virtual stitchers? I love virtual stitchers. Don't get me wrong. You get in the Zoom room. You're talking. You're sharing ideas. You share recipes. You talk about your life. You do all these things in there. And I really, truly consider them friends. All across the nation. All across the world. Friends from Australia. Friends from Japan. Friends from Korea. I mean, everywhere. Well, the bad part of that is they also enable you and they point you in the directions of different designers. So one of said designers is something called the Fairy Village and it's by Soda Stitch. And I'm showing you my printed copy because um, I did PDF and I printed them out. And one of them ladies on virtual stitchers is doing that pattern and I've been watching her stitch it and falling in love with it. So finally I said, that's it. I'm, I'm going to Soda Stitch. It's an Etsy, um, www.sodastitch.com. It's also an Etsy shop. If you look up Soda Stitch Design on Etsy, you will find their shop. I also, since no pattern goes alone, saw this one on a purple fabric and that one is called, what is that one called, Samantha? Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Of course, my dogs are going to bark because um, my husband is downstairs with them. Happy Halloween. It's a fantastic pattern. Um, I'm really looking forward to start stitching it for Halloween. And um, so those are two patterns I got. I am sorry, y'all, about the dogs if you hear them barking. But I don't know how to pause this to get them to stop. So we're going to keep pushing through. And hopefully my husband will stop teasing them and getting them barking. Or Samantha could go down and say, hey, Dad, could you please stop? <laughs> yeah. While she's doing that, let's go through um, some of these other ones that were actually Irina Bibar. I'm, I am probably not saying that name right at all. Um, she is a Russian designer. She had some free patterns. I did print out some of them. I also purchased some. So I'm just going to go through these quickly. Um, because I can't read the names, but they're really pretty. Um, and this, they take very little floss. This, if you can see. Hey, Samantha, I'm going to, if you could stand over there, I'm going to hand these up to you so that you can get them closer for the camera. Because I can't say what they are. Because I don't, they're, this oh, one's. New language. Yeah, new language. It's Russian. It's a Russian designer. 
Let's see. That's how you spell that. <laughs> okay. Here's vintage vase. I'm just going to have you hold it up if you could. Okay. Try and hold it still as you can. Um, Magic Lodge. And like I said, some of these are free patterns on her site. Um, some of them I purchased. And, and like, that one's probably less than 10 floss colors. Okay. This one is Salem. This has three colors. That's pretty. I like that one. If we can get it without the, yeah, without the sun glaring. Um, yeah, this one's Family Quaker. I'll just give you the picture. Maybe that'll help without having the sun. It's pretty wiped out. Can you tilt it a little bit? I don't know. Lean it towards it's just, the camera, maybe? It's just very pale. Yeah. Okay. And then here's Flower Quaker. It's a lot of haul, right? Some of this I've had for a while, but I wanted to show you because, you know, I really like the designs. They're very simple. Um, okay. The, what else? The next thing I have, so I just wanted to, you know, kind of let you know that there's designers out there. Not all dimension kits anymore, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to hand these up to you, too. Okay. I... Um, Went shopping on Stitch and Button site, so if you don't know Stitch and Button, she um, makes bags. She also has she's floss tube. Uh, she has a floss tube as well. Um, her name's Vicky. Plus, she has um, a Facebook group and she sells needle minders, bags that she's made. Um, I think she does some finishing kind of things. So, um, but I went a little bit overboard, but that's okay. These are needle minders. I love her needle minders. Um, and they're just so cute, so I wanted to show them. Um, we won't show Charlie because Charlie didn't make the trip very well. Okay. Um, we have to fix Charlie. Okay. And these two. And this is by Stitch and Button, and she is a Facebook group called Stitch. N button. Um, just like I said, it's stitch N button. So uh, check her out. She's on Instagram. She also has an Etsy shop of stitch N button. Um, so if you're interested and you want to see what she has, she has zipper pulls. I do have some of those on order. They haven't gotten here yet. Um, did you check out this little gummy bear? Like, can you see that was like a clear little, can you show that little clear gummy bear? How cute is that? I don't know if you can he's see little, it. It's a little guy. It's little. One of, th one of the things I found when I'm working on my haze is the little needle minders are perfect to kind of help me control the. Oh, I use them to kind of she has like put my part threads around them. So yes, yeah, some of mine some of mine have multiple needle minders on them, and that's why. So that's the M and M's and and those the ones little that I got. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think the last thing I think. What is that? It's a little coffee thing. Oh. Um, sorry. I went squirrel real quick. Um, the last thing is one of the girls on Virtual Stitchers has been talking about um, the CXC floss. It comes from China. I know, I know. Coronavirus, the whole thing. Um, it comes from China. However, you can get a whole set of this for... 11 cents a skein. I think somebody calculated it out. It was 11 cents a skein. So I got two sets um, to try. The numbers essentially are the same as the MC numbers. Do you want to show this? So I have floss and floss and floss. Oh wait, which one do I grab? <laughs> I don't remember. Lots and lots of floss. I ordered two sets. I think I got one so far. I don't think this is both sets. It could be both sets. I'm not 100% sure. I don't see any duplicate numbers yet. But um, So I am going to kit some projects up with these. People that have been using this 
Um, because in Australia, DMC Plus, I think, is new, close. It's a dollar something, a skein. Isn't it like 50 cents? No, ours is 56 cents. But oh. in Australia, they pay a lot of money for a skein of DMC Plus. So oh, they look nice. for alternatives. This I got from a seller. And hmm, I did not write his name down. Um, but it's one of those art... AliExpress. AliExpress on AliExpress. Um, AliExpress on AliExpress. AliExpress. No, it's a... a oh, I'll try and link it. I don't know what to tell you. Sure I will now. give you feedback on what I think of this floss when I use it. Um, but I am going to stitch it up into some projects and, and see how I like it. Um, I'm going to give them a whirl. Um, and... That's all for haul for me. Everything else was a gift, so go ahead. Go ahead. Go That's ahead. But you kind of... I talked enough. Okay. Well, thank you, Martha, so much. I got my nice little my nice little card. I'm not sure if you can even see that. Nice little card. And I already have my working copy of my Yin Yang by Stitch Rovia made up. I'm excited to stitch that. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be fun. Don't lose your needle oh, yeah. in there. There's a needle in there. Yeah, I saw that earlier. I didn't know I didn't put that in there. Oh. Okay. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna throw it show you a finish. So if you watch Virtual Stitcher's homework video, I'm gonna tell you that this last week um, has been a struggle. That was my first time doing the homework video for them, and I, I kind of think on the capture video, Sammy caught me looking kind of, I don't know. I, everybody else was smiling. Apparently, I didn't, I missed the, hey, we're taking a picture, um, because I was not smiling. But I want you to know, it was a lot of fun making that video, um, and really making me think, like, what would I do? And then, I got to tell you, after that video and the challenges started rolling out as far as poop and potion and the snowball fight and it kind of everything I thought I was going to do got thrown by the wayside. However, one of the items that they talked about was the um, free stitching site and I meant to pull the pattern because I had it wrote down on it. Buggers, I didn't. Um, Anyways, there is a site and it had a pattern that I could use for Heart Week for Daily 30, which is a closed group, and I could also use it for Chocolate Week for Daily 30, and then I used it for Magical Stitches as my closest whip to being finished. Um, and I finished it. So, without further ado, I finished My Heart Belongs to Chocolate, and it, it is a free design. It's on... Man. What does it look like? Begins with a C. I can't remember. I wrote it down somewhere. Um, I can't remember. Not in the book. <laughs> Not in the book. I didn't write anything in the book this time. I will try to remember and let you know the next time, or I'll try and see if my editing skills are enough that I can type it in in the screen below. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Um, so that is my finish. That is my third finish for the year. So I'm happy with that. That's okay. It's only February, and I already got three finishes. And it's got chocolate chips and I'm going to say that chocolate on it. Um, the other stitchy kindness I got was from my friend Beth Ann, who is on Virtual Stitchers. And she sent me, um, I was talking about the needle threaders that I buy in the store. That they, they don't fit through the eyes of my needles on the ones that I'm using for my Heaven and Earth designs. She sent me one. She sent, and you cannot, definitely cannot see that. Do you want to show that up there close? She sent me one. It's beautiful. Thank you, Beth Ann, so much. Um, but it is a wonderful needle threader if you don't have one of these. I highly encourage you. It works great, especially when you're working on heaven and earth designs and you're frequently flossing. It makes it nice. Um, and she also sent me, I think it's called a thucker. Thucker. I don't know. Careful how you're pronouncing that. I know, you right? Flipping people off. I'm not no, not <laughs> flipping people off, but it's got like a like you can bury your threads and it's a it's a fucker, I think is how you say it. But if you look on Heaven and Earth Designs, they have them on there. You can purchase them. They're not cheap. 
and I don't ever want to lose it. I can tell you that. It is one that I make sure I keep my eyes on at all times. So those are beautiful. And she sent me two um, needle holders. Um, they're uh, the wooden needle holders. The little cork looking thing. The cork the little needle holder. Bind. So I will be using those. And they came in their own little individual bags, which is a nice feature to be able to keep them nice and safe. So nothing gets broken, and it was just very nice of her to do that. So a shout out to Beth Ann. Thank you so much um, for your kindness in sharing some of your stitchy love with us. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> you can sit down. All right. So not really, but. I feel like when I was cleaning today and trying to put stuff away and trying to organize, I was a, gave a disservice to my sister Sherry and my friend Cindy because they thought highly enough of me and got me a bunch of stuff. Oh, the mailman just came. Mm, I see stuff in the mailbox. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, so they sent me, or did not send me, they gave me for Christmas and I have not shown it yet. And it was sitting on my desk and I thought, I opened it up and went, oh my gosh, this is all stitchy stuff. I need to share this with the group. So I'm going to share it with you. There's a magnet here. This says itching to be stitching, which I love. There's a caution, enter this sewing room at your own risk. And it's also a magnet. A big magnet that says so much fun. And this is a Missouri Star Quilt Company. Um, when I was quilting, it had scissors on it. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go through the stack. So bear with me. I have a Riolis cross stitch. It is a cat with a sewing machine, and it's got everything in it: um, the the fabric and the floss. Um, it looks like it would be a fairly easy stitch. I haven't started it yet, but I will. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, with a cuckoo clock and stuff. Yeah, there's lots of different, different, show the back of what you're referring to. A lot of different Riolis patterns. Um, this is a Bucilla. I'm, some of you probably have seen this already before, but they're the little tiny, tiny stockings. stockings. It's got the floss, it's got the fabric, it's got everything you need to do 30 different Christmas stockings. Um, and I'm not sure who gave me what because they both were giving me stuff together for Christmas. And so it's kind of gotten all put into a container and I, so forgive me. Um, this is a Leisure Arts Fast and Festive 50 Christmas Designs book. So they also got me um, Bent Creek Thankful Owls kit and it has the button, the little star button in there as well. And Happy Harvest from Country Cottage Needleworks. They got me a button. Who doesn't need a button? Nice little storage container for the little things that you have. Um, a pack of buttons for embellishing items. Mm -hmm. So I got buttons, different kinds of buttons. That'll probably go on my button container, to be honest. I don't have a lot of buttons, so. I mean, you do, I just took them from you. <laughs> well, that would explain it. And if you know me and my fascination, words are hard, flamingos, she had me two flamingos. This one says, keep your head up with its fuzzy little tail. I don't, yeah, it's not easy, is it? Keep your head up. And this one says, be majestically awkward. Sorry. No, that's fine. You're fine. Do you want the other one? Sure. I'm not sure where she got these, but I think they're cute. And then there's these two hanging ornaments. One says, be true to yourself. And the other says, stand out in a crowd. Does she know me or what? This one's back. I got two pairs of scissors. Um, one has like a starburst pattern on it, and this one comes with a leather pouch, and it's got 
uh, Christmas wreaths and it's embroidery scissors with a leather sheath. So she got me a bag that says toolkit. And lots and lots of future little needle minders. You can shed all of those. They're little gems things, I'm sure. And another pink flamingo. And this one will be a needle minder. I just have to attach a magnet to it, but it's the same flamingos as the others. But that one's small enough to be a needle minder. Are you able to get it? I don't know how this video is going to turn out, but it we've been be talking for a while. I also got this big handful of floss, and we'll just say that. It's a handful of DMC floss, and all of this was crammed into this box. It's a metal tin um, that has... Uh, sewing stuff on it. It says cut, sew, create with Stacy Aitsu from Moda. So Moda is a fabric um, provider I know for quilting so that's probably but look it's got cross stitches on it. I don't know if you can Wrong one. see it. It's got cross stitches along the border. It's got cross stitches on the pin. Anyway that's it. That's enough right? I dropped one on the floor over here. Um so, what do we got coming up for plans? Got any plans, Samantha, to stitch or do anything? Husband's taking us out to dinner tonight. For seafood. Yay! We're going to a restaurant, Warrendale. Um, and I don't then know where that's at. It's, it's south of us. Um, it's called Off the Hook, so we'll be heading there um, tonight for a belated Valentine's dinner. Because um, yesterday I would have been busy, too busy. And tomorrow's Sunday, but I get to work because I'm doing or going to an open house that we were invited to from an elderly community home retirement place that would like... Um, I, I manage a home care agency, so we were invited to attend their open house. So we'll be doing that um, tomorrow morning. Um, they're having their open house. so. And I get Monday off. You have Monday off, I get to work. So it's going to be another long work week, I'm sure. Um, so I'm going to try and cram in as much stitching time as I can. Um, I don't know what else to say. I don't even know what's been going on in the world to even comment about because, like I said, it's been it's been a rough, it's busy a week. week. I haven't I haven't been on virtual stitchers as much this week just because I'm just really tired. Um, when I get home, I'm tired, and, and I've been heading to bed early. So, we'll be doing more stitching. I'll be doing more stitching. I'm looking at starting uh, like the, the monkey on the toilet um, January, on February 29th. Um, just trying to work on getting, getting challenges done and making progress with all of my projects. Got a couple more that are close to finishes that I think um, if the challenges play right... There'll definitely be finishes. Um, some sometimes I take a break from challenges and I just stitch because I want to stitch for the night. But it doesn't happen very often um, because most everything I stitch I tie into something. So, got anything you want to say? I want to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully we can edit this and hopefully it goes up the right way. If you haven't checked them out, we've mentioned stitch and button. We've mentioned hate. Attic, craft addict that's Isabel. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what her new name is. Hayd. Well, she be addict crafting. crafting with. I'm not that's sure what us. the name is. No. <laughs> it has to do with Hayd. Um, I can't remember the name. Sorry, Isabel. Um, the Slovak attic. Farm. Um, there's a lot of different Etsy shops we talked about. Again, if you have any questions. Um, you, our email will be below. You can certainly email us. I do get on that email periodically. I'm not on it on a daily basis, but I do respond. Um, and and we'll comment, we'll be able to see it too. Right. Oh, I wanted to do a giveaway, and it's over there. Next time. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Tell us what your thoughts are. If you'd like to see a vlog style with just me, 
um, because I'm able to do it through the week a little bit more often. If yeah. you um, if you want to see both of us together and, and we keep the status quo as we've been going along, um, and we video when Samantha has the time available, or if you are interested in a stitch with me, um, let me know. I, I appreciate I the feedback. So, me, and I wouldn't say much. <laughs> Hopefully that groundhog was right and spring is coming early because it sure does look like it around here. There's a little snow, but not much. It's so cold. It is cold. It's definitely cold. So I want to wish everyone a wonderful, happy, stitchy week. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. So we wanted to tell everybody thank you for all the Valentine's cards. Um, and we didn't really know how to show this all off. So... I wanted to just show my roses I got from my husband for Valentine's Day and my grandson, he's four, came to work and brought me these tulips, they're beautiful. And my Samantha bought me a white rose at school and brought it home to wish me happy Valentine's Day and told me I had the greatest mom ever award. So kudos, I'll take that pat on my back. And then part of Daily 30, we did Valentine cards exchanges and I love all the cards, the stickers, the floss. Thank you everyone for thinking of us and sending us a nice little treat in the mail. This was really fun this year.